knowing how to measure length is a very valuable skill. You will use this skill often, like when you purchase clothing, play football, rearrange your room, and build a treehouse. Before we practice measurement, let's take a moment to review. In the United States, we use the U.S. Standard System of Measurement. In other countries, they use the metric system. It is important to learn both systems of measurement because the metric system is so widely used. You can use your fingers and arms to help remember the appropriate length of each unit. But as you grow, you may have to adjust your methods of remembering. The width of your pointer finger is approximately one centimeter. Two fingers is approximately one inch. The distance from your elbow to the tip of your fingers is approximately one foot. One yard is about the length of extending both of your arms out wide. We measure with inches, feet, yards, and miles when using the U.S. Standard System of Measurement. To measure smaller lengths, like the length of a frog, we use inches. There are 12 inches in a foot. Feet are used to measure things like your height. There are three feet in one yard. Yards are often used to measure longer distances, like the length of a football field. In second grade, we did not learn about miles. Miles are used to measure long distances. You wouldn't say that the store is 63,360 inches or 1,760 yards from your home. You would say that the store is one mile from your home. The metric system uses millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. There are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, 100 centimeters in a meter, and 1,000 meters in a kilometer. When measuring an object, you must line up the ruler with one end of the object. Then you're ready to read the number on the ruler that lines up with the end of the object. This frog is 5 inches long. It is also 13 centimeters. Not all lengths match perfectly with a number on a ruler. That's why the rulers display markings like halves and quarters. This fish is eight and one half inches long and falls about halfway between 21 and 22 centimeters. It is 21.5 centimeters. Now let's practice. Three cousins went fishing. Oh no, that one is tiny. Not bad. This one looks pretty heavy. Now that's a good size. Whoa, impressive. They caught four fish. After a long afternoon of fishing, they decided to do what all great fishermen do and measure the lengths of each fish. Watch as they measure. The first fish measures three inches and roughly eight centimeters. The second fish measures eight and a half inches long or about 21.5 centimeters. The third fish is exactly one foot and 30.5 centimeters. The last fish is just shy of a yard, measuring at a whopping 35 inches. That's 89 centimeters. She caught the biggest fish. That was fun. Now grab a ruler and practice measuring things in your home. If you don't have a ruler, you can print one off from a link below. Have fun!